What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Gator here, gonna be giving you guys draft day. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this out there tonight. Hopefully you guys like it, subscribe, comment, let me know. The left-handed, yes, the left-handed shortstopper, Miguel Lozada, myself. It's just a mirror reflection of myself. I was left-handed, so I went ahead and went with it. I was able to do it in real life. I know in video games, it's not really ideal, but like, subscribe. Let's see where I go in the first round. Welcome Gator out. Welcome to this year's Major League Baseball first year player draft. Today, the best up-and-coming baseball talent from around the country and the world, many of whom have just recently competed in the Topps Amateur Showcase, will begin their journey as professional baseball players. Today is a day these young men have been dreaming about and working towards their entire lives. We wish them all the best of luck and look forward to watching them develop into even greater ball players over the coming years. With that said, it's time to get started. The first pick is officially on the clock. With the first overall pick in this year's first year player draft, the Houston Astros select Omar Lima, a shortstop from the West region. With the second pick of the first round, the Miami Marlins select Felipe Ramos, a third baseman from the West region. With the third pick in the first round, the Chicago White Sox select Tommy Chambers, a shortstop from the Central region. With the fourth pick of the first round, the Minnesota Twins select Fred Rangel, a starting pitcher from the West region. With the fifth pick in the first round, the Chicago Cubs select Miguel Reyes, a shortstop from the West region. Okay, so another top draft prospect is off the board after that selection. A lot of people, and of course his new organization, have high hopes for him. What do you guys think about his future? Well, I like this pick a lot. His talent certainly warrants him being taken early in the first round like this. And he looked very promising at the Topps Amateur Showcase. And from what I can tell, he definitely has the potential to be a very productive major leaguer sometime down the road. Yeah, his new organization has to be very excited about getting the opportunity to draft him. Like you said, Steve, he has looked very good leading up to today. I just hope he's really taken the time to enjoy this moment because it's a bit of a whirlwind, but it's also something he should cherish and celebrate with those that have helped him get to this point. I think we're all looking forward. 